Hello everyone. Welcome to Nesso Academy. In the previous lectures, we understood bitwise AND, OR, NOT, and XOR operators. Now we are in this lecture, and the name of this lecture is bitwise shift operators. So without any further delay, let's get started with this lecture and let's see what are the topics. The first topic of this lecture is introduction to bitwise shift operators. First, we will understand bitwise shift operators. We will understand what they are and what are the different types of bitwise shift operators we have. Then we will move to the second topic where we will understand bitwise left shift operator. After understanding bitwise left shift operator, we will understand bitwise right shift operator. So these are the topics. Let's start with the first one, introduction to bitwise shift operators. So what are bitwise shift operators? Bitwise shift operators are those operators that allow us to move the bits of a specific binary number left or right. As the name itself suggests, bitwise shift operator is an operator that allows us to move the bits of a specific binary number or shift the bits of a specific binary number either left or right. There are two types of bitwise shift operators. We have bitwise left shift operator, which is represented by two less than symbols. And we have bitwise right shift operator, which is represented by two greater than symbols. So these are the types of bitwise shift operators we have in C++. We will discuss these two types properly in this lecture. For now, we are done with the introduction to bitwise shift operators. This means we are done with the first topic. Let's move to the second topic to understand bitwise left shift operator. So what is the bitwise left shift operator? Bitwise left shift operator is the operator that allows us to move the bits of a binary number to the left by n positions. As the name suggests, it allows us to shift the bits of a specific binary number towards left and that too by n positions. Here is the syntax of the bitwise left shift operator. First, we need to specify the number and then we need to provide the bitwise left shift operator and then the value of n where n represents the number of positions, we want to shift the bits of a specific number. So this is the syntax. Now, let's consider a C++ program to understand how to use bitwise left shift operator in C++ programs. Here is the program. I have included the IOStream header file because I am using stdc out here. Inside this main function, I have defined variable a with value 5. This is an integer variable. And also, I have defined another integer variable. The name of this variable is result. And to this variable, I am trying to assign the result of this expression. Here we have a less than less than 1. Bitwise left shift operator is applied on a. a has the value 5. So, bitwise left shift operation will be performed on 5 and all the bits will be shifted towards left by one position. We will get some value and this value will be stored in this variable and then we can print this result on the screen with the help of stdc out. Now what do you think what is the output of this program will be? This can be understood by first converting this value to its equivalent binary value and we need to perform bitwise left shift on that binary value. So let's do this. Let's first write the equivalent binary representation of this value. We know this is the binary equivalent of value 5, 0, 1, 0, 1. Now let's perform bitwise left shift by one position on this binary number. As we need to perform bitwise left shift by one position, all the bits will be shifted towards left by one position. This means this bit 
will be shifted towards left to the second position from the right. So, this will get the second position from the right. This bit will get the third position from the right. This bit will get the fourth position. And this bit will get the fifth position. But we do not have to specify this bit over here as this does not contribute anything to the final output. Here we have 101. Now we have the vacant position. This can be filled with 0. This is always the case. We need to fill the vacant position by 0 when we perform bitwise left shift operation on a binary number. Here now we have 1010. This is same as 10 in decimal. I hope this is clear to you. So now we know when we execute this program, we will get the output as 10. Here you can observe that if we multiply 5 by 2, then we will get 10 as the result. So it seems like A left shift 1 is same as multiplication of A or multiplication of 5 by 2 power 1. Here this 1 represents the number of positions we specify here. Here we have 1, therefore we have 2 power 1. So, multiplication of the value of A will be performed by 2 power 1. So, we can conclude that bitwise left shift operator allows us to multiply a specific number by powers of 2. Now, to justify this point even better, let's consider a different example. This time, let's say we have 2 in place of 1. Now we need to perform bitwise left shift on this binary number by two positions. Or what we can do? We can perform bitwise left shift operation by one position on this binary number. We have already performed bitwise left shift operation on this binary number by one position. Now we just need to perform bitwise left shift operation on this binary number by one position. This is the same as performing bitwise left shift on this binary number by two positions. Let's do this now. We know that this bit will be placed over here in the second position from the right. This bit will be placed in the third position. This bit will be placed in the fourth position. And this bit will be placed in the fifth position. Now I have specified this bit because this is one and this will contribute to the final output. This means this bit plays an important role in the final result. Now here we have a vacant position. This must be filled by zero. We already learned this. Now we have this binary number and this is same as value 20 in decimal. You can verify this on your own. So now we know what's the output of this program. We will get 20 as the output. I hope this is clear to you. Now, we can observe that if we multiply 5 by 4, we will get 20 as the result. So, it seems like A left shift 2 is same as multiplication of A by 2 power 2. That is multiplication of the value 5 by 2 power 2, which is same as 4. So, here we have 5 times 4, which is 20. That is why we are getting output as 20. So, this point is completely justified. Bitwise left shift operator allows us to multiply a number by powers of 2. So, with this, we have understood bitwise left shift operator. This means we are done with the second topic also. Now, let's move to the third topic to understand bitwise right shift operator. Bitwise right shift operator allows us to move the bits of a specific number to the right by n positions. This can be understood from the name itself. All the bits of a binary number will be shifted towards right by n positions. And as the result, it divides the number by powers of 2. This is different from bitwise left shift operator. We know in case of bitwise left shift operator, the number gets multiplied by powers of 2. Here the number gets divided by powers of 2. Now here comes the third important point. 
वेकेंड पोजिशन ऑन दी लेफ्ट आर फिल्ड विद जीरोज फॉर पॉजिटिव इंटीजर्स इन केस ऑफ पॉजिटिव इंटीजर्स ऑल दी वेकेंड पोजिशन ऑन दी लेफ्ट आर फिल्ड विद जीरोज इट इज क्वाइट ऑब्वियस दैट इफ यू शिफ्ट द बिट्स टू वर्ड्स राइट देन वी विल हैव सम वेकेंड पोजिशन ऑन दी लेफ्ट दोज वेकेंड पोजिशन विल बी फिल्ड विद जीरोज दिस इज ट्रू फॉर पॉजिटिव इंटीजर्स Now let's consider the syntax of the bitwise right shift operator. Here is the syntax. We have number, then the bitwise right shift operator, and then the value for n, which represents the number of positions. Now here is a simple example program to demonstrate the use of bitwise right shift operator. Here I have defined variable a with value ten, and here I am performing bitwise right shift operation on this value. by one position we know we will get some value here which will get stored in this variable result and eventually this will get printed on the screen now what do you think what is the output of this program here we first need to convert this value to its equivalent binary form this is the equivalent binary number of this number we have 1010 here we need to shift this bit towards right by one position we know that this bit will be discarded because there is nothing like zeroth position bits must start from the first position so this bit will be discarded now we need to move to the second bit from the right we have one over here this bit will be shifted towards right by one position so clearly it will get placed over here in the first position this bit will be placed in the second position from the right this bit in the third position now what about this vacant position as we know this vacant positions on the left are filled with zeros therefore this place must be filled by zero this is true for positive integers here we have this positive integer now we have this binary number 0101 which is same as 5 in decimal so we know the output of this program is 5 I hope this is completely clear to you. Now you can also observe that if we divide this value by two, we will get five as the result. So clearly, we can say that a right shift one is same as division of a by two power one, or we can say division of ten in this example by two power one, where one. is representing the number of positions i hope this is clear to you so we know how to get the output for bitwise right shift operation now we know how all this works but you might be wondering what happens in case of negative integers we know that vacant positions on the left must be filled with zeros for positive integers what about negative integers for negative integers the behavior is implementation defined this is what i have written here implementation defined behavior for negative integers we do not know whether the vacant positions on the left are filled with zeros or they are filled with ones this is implementation defined behavior this means compiler and the system will decide what these bits must be i hope this is clear to you so we do not know that vacant positions will be filled with zeros or ones in case of negative integers but one thing is clear that the number will always be divided by powers of 2 when we consider the bitwise right shift operator so with this we have understood the bitwise right shift operator properly this means we are done with the last topic also and we are done with this lecture Okay friends this is it for now thank you for watching this lecture i will see you in the next one